What's good, foodie fam? It's your boy, I'm from Food Galore, Mexico. Today, we're going on a mini food venture. This is going to be a mini vlog, just a few minutes, guys. Just a little recap. We're actually going to Not Scary Farms. We purchased a ticket where we get early access to the theme park. So, we park. We go in before anybody goes in. We go in to enjoy the buffet. So, that's technically the whole big deal about this Not Scary Farm thing. And we get to get a pass where we get easy access and fast track so we could go inside the rides of mazes really quick but it's just a mini food vlog so hopefully you guys you enjoy this video i know it's not much but like i say something's better than nothing enjoy the show <laughs> I'm not even gonna be giving out any descriptions. Cause look at Fridays and Saturdays have been We got some pork, we got some roast beef, pork radish, mashed potatoes and cheese, and uh broccoli pasta. We're over here with my girlfriend, Kayla Jones. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so we're gonna give out a review regarding the food. We're at Not Scary Farm. Take it away, Kelly Jones. <laughs> um the food was good. I would not try the barbecue wings. They're not good. Don't do it. Anything else regarding like the other items that you ate? Um, no. The meat, the roast beef, and I thought it was chicken, but I guess it's pork. It's pork. I liked it. I think that, that's all I ate. I want shrimp. A little bit too salty for my taste, but the roast beef should have had a little bit of that saltiness because it was kind of bland, but you put horse radish, you can't really tell. <laughs> Oh, look what we got here. We got some hot Cheeto mac and cheese, and we got a, I think some banana squash, little soup. Bam. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna get a try. Mm. It's pretty good. It's nice and it's nice and creamy, sweet. Hmm. Kayla, you're gonna like this one. Look. Try this out. It's not that hot. Mm. It's like the butter squash, huh? It's more like pumpkin. Mm-hmm. Super good. Highly recommended. This is good like for little kids too. If I had a choice to eat a dessert or this, I would probably just choose this. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy, I'm Food Galore. We're back now. Let's get back to that food review. Cause I was eating. It was actually my girlfriend's birthday. That's when we went to Not Scary Farm. So, back to it. Would I recommend you guys to go to Not Scary Farm to get the buffet package? 
where it comes included with a cup that you can refill. They just scan this barcode and you don't have to pay nothing. You just scan it and drink as much as you want to. This is actually worth it because you can use a cup. And you get this wristband that you get easy access for early access and fast track access for the mazes, the rides. You don't have to be making a big ass line. You just walk in, make a wait a few minutes and go in instead of waiting a long ass time. But I'm getting out of topic. Anywho, was the food actually worth it? It was worth it for two point of perspective. You go in around five o'clock in the afternoon and you know you do got the munchies, so it comes out handy because you get to eat, have a meal. And if you notice, a lot of the items they sell at Not Scary Farms are expensive as fuck. The food at the buffet wasn't like, oh my gosh, to die for. But you get to eat good, you know, comfortably. And you get to get full or cheap compared to going to Johnny Rockets or any other restaurants right there. And the items they had, they had a cold pasta with broccoli. That was really good. I like pasta. I like veggies. They had like boneless chicken tenders or chicken wings. They were like buffalo and barbecue those were my girlfriend said she didn't really like them i, I tried them and they were kind of like eh. i like my chicken wings with the bone and they had like mini corn dogs the mini corn dogs look really good really good those are good like for kids and they had like a cheesy mashed potato i tried it it was pretty good i know that in most of the restaurants and buffet industries they use a powder potatoes mix this one had little chunks of potatoes it wasn't just like I don't know if what kind of potato it was, but it had like little chunks of potato where I recommend it to you, where you're gonna eat it, and you're gonna be like, oh shit, this tastes like actually real potato. And you guys saw I got the little bowl with the bread, with the potato, um, <sighs> banana, no, the butter squash, the butter squash, the butter squash was delightful to die for. Super creamy, nice for this chilly weather, walking outside, I wish I could have taken that outside, but I didn't, but it was really good, it was nice. Sleek season, nice and creamy, nice and thickness. Kind of reminded me of a clam chowder. Would I try it again? Fuck yeah. Would I recommend it for you guys? Fuck yeah. And we were also trying out the meat. They had roast beef and they had pork. The pork actually looked like a turkey breast. So when I got there, I told them, could I have some roast beef? Yeah. Could I get some turkey? They're like, oh no, this is pork. And I was like, okay, let me try it out. I served myself a little bit. The turk, uh, the pork, the pork was lacking. The it wasn't lacking flavor. The only thing that it was that was wrong with it is that it was too salty. Like they added too much seasoning on top when you tried it. You know when you have that salty flavor, and you're like, that's what it tasted. The roast beef was nice and juicy. That saltiness that the pork had, the roast beef was kind of lacking because it wasn't that salty. It was missing that flavor. But we were able to fix it up with some au jus, some horseradish, mix it up, chop it up. Delicious. Delicioso. But yeah, guys, I would definitely recommend you guys to go to the buffet. It's only 500 bucks. And you do get this. So this is actually worth it. And the buffet. Because you get early access and you get one of these where you get to cheat and go into the lines without waiting for people. And um, they had desserts too. I actually tried the uh, pumpkin pie. The pumpkin pie was favorite. I liked it. I like pumpkin. It was nice and creamy. And they had some other desserts like chocolate cakes and cookies. I didn't really try those out because I was already eating the pumpkin pie. And I got a little small piece, but it was nice and creamy and delightful. But anywho, guys, it's uh, it's for me to know and for you guys to find out. If you guys want to check it out, check it out. And you will have to get there early because it gets like super packed. And would I recommend it? I would definitely recommend it. But if you have an eight. But if you ate, I don't recommend it, but I recommend the point of perspective that if you get there, you're going to have to wait a long time to get into the rides and the mazes. So technically, you get one of these. So this is why I mean that it was worth it. You pay the money, you get to get into all those mazes really quick, fast track. You get one of these for free if you're dehydrated and you get to eat at the buffet. It's not the best quality, but it's actually worth it. So, thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys in the next video. It's your boy Fuga Lower Mexico. I might post some Halloween videos. You know, you never know. I might post something maybe from Squid Games. I might make some some of that. Those desserts that came out there. You never know. But thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's your boy Ivan Fuga Lower Mexico. Go, go, go.